question is diversity, the new religion, of course, as we know, we hear it all the time, 855-839-1210 on Twitter, at Rich Zioli. Well, Philly Medical School is going to pursue a diverse workforce through scholarships and special programs, but there's some real complications here. Here to talk about it, the associate editor of the College Fix, Matt Lamb, joins me right now on Talk Radio 1210. Matt, thanks for making the time. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me back on. So this is Thomas Jefferson University Medical School, which is based in Philadelphia. And what they're looking to do is to increase diversity by having racial minority health care professionals who can alleviate health disparity, if I'm getting that correctly. Right. And they're uh, going to do this through different scholarships and mentoring programs. What's worth noting is that in some ways, there's nothing wrong necessarily with, you know, recruiting students, you know, making sure the best students are coming, students that may not think they have a chance to go there. But what gets uh, problematic is if you do illegal scholarships that only go to black students, let's say, or Hispanic students or female students, that's when it gets, uh, you know, legally problematic for the university if they're excluding white students or male students from scholarship opportunities. And and why would they exclude anybody? I mean, isn't the goal of a medical school to have the, the, the best people possible so that we can have the best doctors possible? Uh, well, it's been a while since you've been in college because actually saying the best person <laughs> Listen, dude, to don't get the job is a don't microaggression. Don't me, buddy, all right? Uh, it's, you, 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 would, you, would, you would think that, um, but now, of course, with diversity, equity, inclusion, um, you know, anti-racism, whatever you want to call it, uh, there is a push to have a, um, you know, a sufficient amount of racial minorities, um, even if that means um, excluding uh, better qualified applicants who happen to be white, uh, let's say. With the Supreme Court's uh, ruling on affirmative action last summer, universities are now figuring out ways that it seems to, you know, get around it, even 